I don't think that they are respecting the people who don't have enough to eat. And therein is my question. Why are we not this passionate for those who are going without? Hey, Lilana, uh, I thought this was a great question, so I'm taking the time to make a video response. There are countries that grow crops to feed to animals uh, that suffer from widespread food insecurity, and growing those crops to feed to animals makes food insecurity worse for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is is that animals are inefficient converters of crops into calories and protein. So the amount of like calories and protein and crops that are fed to animals is, uh, is more than when you feed it to an animal and they, they burn off the calories and body heat and they like poop and uh, you know there's a lot of uh, inedible material um, that results um, from feeding these crops to animals. So, you know, talk about waste. There's a lot of food waste uh, involved in animal agriculture. Um, secondly, um, you know, in order to produce animal products, there are all these additional like labor inputs uh, involved. So the time resources devoted to growing crops uh, that are gonna be fed to animals are wasted and the people who are growing these extra crops that get wasted, they could be devoting time to, uh, you know, growing crops to feed people globally that are dealing with global hunger. But that's not what happens because animals, uh, you know, are fed these crops that are kind of unnecessary to grow in the first place if more people became vegan. Animals do go without. Um, during transport, animals are transported without food and water. It's a crime in many places to give uh, pigs that are about to be slaughtered uh, water or show them any compassion. Anita is now facing jail time for giving water to thirsty pigs, an act of compassion the Pig Save activists carry out at every vigil, especially those in the dead heat of summer. On June 22nd this past summer, we had our weekly vigils at Fearman's Pork Incorporated, and the trucks, before they enter the slaughterhouse, they stop at a set of lights. <laughs> And what we do is we go up to the trucks and peer in. And uh, what we witnessed was a really sad and heartbreaking sight. The pigs were heavily panting, foaming at the mouth, and uh, clearly suffering from the heat and uh, from thirst. And so I said, let's give them some water and I started giving water and then the driver jumped out of the cab and uh, shouted, uh, don't give them water. If you give them thirsty, if you are, Jesus said, if you're thirsty, give them water. No, if you're gee, you know what? These are, not, these are not humans, you dumb frickin' bra. So uh, animals are individuals and they do go without. Most people give farmed animals no consideration um, since over 98% of people aren't vegan and therefore pay for farmed animals like pigs, cows, and chickens to be killed. So there are 80 billion land animals that are killed annually um, and each one of them is an individual. They value their lives, uh, they have unique personalities, thoughts, feelings, and they want to live. Humans can advocate for other humans, but animals can't advocate for themselves effectively, which is another reason I guess you could say I'm more passionate about animal rights than tackling food security, um, although I do both. You know, I have uh, helped people with food insecurity recently, and I think it's a very noble cause, as long as it doesn't involve harming animals in any way.